back to a 67 Camaro video here on Shop Dog Garage. We've been warming it up in here. Shop Dog's chilling. I've got uh, a couple spot welds drilled out here. In fact, as soon as that, as soon as that relieved, look at what happened. Boing, it all popped free. So that tells me that something was under stress here. I haven't even bent or done anything yet. I've only drilled out the three spot welds. So whatever happened, whenever this was dropped or bent, I'm hoping that now I can kind of straighten this a little bit, right in here, get this crease back where it's supposed to be, and then fix, because I can also see that there's a bend here that shouldn't be here. Yes, and it walked on me, sorry. It's not the end of the world. So I should be able to flatten all of this back out and get this a lot closer because I really don't want this to be nothing but mud. Really want it to be metal. Okay, we've been working for a little while. It's starting to come together. What we have found is I'm using some not super sharp chisels, small smacker, and originally I was trying to back it, but what I've actually found works a little better is I place the chisel put my big fat belly here and kind of relieve it. It seems to want to go back to where it was. The other thing I have found, so not only tapping on the end, but holding this and tapping on the high point, kind of pushing this and arching it back out. I don't know that it really shows up on camera, but this is already such a giant improvement and I haven't even gotten in here and dollied any of that out yet. So. I think this was the right approach versus grinding it all down and filling it in. I think trying to bend this back to the shape it's supposed to be. And you can see, I mean, it was definitely under stress. So we'll have to get, you know, those. in fact, I'll probably just drill those completely out and then uh, build up some new plugs in there because these are not going to line up. When we're done, this brace will not hit the same spot it did. All right, did a little more work here, and I think at this stage, I would like to go ahead and hang it before I deal with uh, re-welding any of that. I don't care about that right now. I think I'm just going to set it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to match all of that. I just need to compare it to this, and that's too much for me to balance and hold. So I think we will get that hung, and I will see what that looks like real quick. Okay. Mama just came out and got Mr. Ollie because he was getting a little bored with all my pounding. So you can see already, well, maybe you can see. Let me find one of my sticks. Here's a stick right here. Now, there's a gapping here. I don't have any of this aligned or anything, so I'm not worried about that. What I care about is this. So you can see, we're getting closer. Also, I'm going to have to pull some material in right here in all this work that seems to have moved this way a little. But this really has made a dramatic difference here. So I'm pretty happy that I decided to do this in the metal. Also, you can see here, well, maybe you can see there, how that end has flared. I'm going to have to figure out how I want to handle that the next time it's off. I don't want I don't want to just sand it off. Yeah, it's flared here too. Ah, good mark really did a terrible job on these. These are just terrible. Figured we better go ahead and chuck this other fender on a little too. No, no, I'm I'm not lined up. It's it's all about how this line works. And you can see here that we've got some gapping there. And a little bit of twist. So we're going to fix that in the fender, I think. But yeah, this is this is way better than it was. Wow, is that better? I can't even believe it. Okay, so I've actually been working inside here, bringing that in. Maybe you can see it here, more like it is over there. And that is actually correcting this some. I've got a high spot here that I've still got to kind of work out. And I think I can just set a dolly here and keep hammering right here to bring that in. But you can see that all came in pretty decent. 
Also, I did wind up having to grind that. Nothing I could do. All right, got the fender back on. I'm gonna grab a pointer. So, you can see I've still got a little gap here. Well, maybe you guys can see. And then all I've got, I do have the bolt and nut in, but I don't have them drawn in real tight. But you can see it opens here, and it gets real tight still right through here. So I've got a little more work to do at this V. But other than that, uh, boy, that's a giant improvement. You know, yeah, I remember I had to fix that. Not a lot you can do there. This side is actually not bad. It's a little high here, but I think that's just in the tightening and loosening on the alignment. So, yeah, just kind of looking at how things are placed. But if you recall before, I couldn't even put the fender on completely without that being in the way. So that is a giant change. Yeah, this is, it's taking time. I'm glad I'm not paying somebody to do this. And you can see I've got some marks from the dolly here, but that'll, that'll clean in. Yeah, unfortunately, what do you do there? That'll clean up though. Ah, yeah, and I took care of that. And then I started this. I think I'll hammer that a little bit more before I grind some more there. This is, it's crazy. Same company, probably same plant in China somewhere, stamping this stuff. And the difference between the left side of the car and the right side of the car is just, it's night and day. Absolutely night and day. Okay. We just went ahead, welded all that up. Let's go ahead and pop her back on the car. See how this came out. I'm hoping I didn't distort it too much. It took a little bit of work to get that one plug to weld in. So hopefully it wasn't too much heat. So let's put this back together real quick. I'm sure there's an answer to this that I'm going to have to learn, but being shiny, I hope that shows up the way this has like a whoop to it and then it's good in here. We get a little whoop here, but I will tell you this is night and day, just night and day from what we had. Also, I only have the front bolt in and it's not even all that tight. So it is no longer under stress to be here. This side's under a little stress, but I think I can relax it. Also, there's a repair on the bolt holes on this side that needs to be done. Don't know what just happened there, but uh, uh, the computer just made a funny noise. So anyway, this is really coming along. Now, I don't have everything bolted in and aligned for now. It's good enough for this because this can only do one thing right here. That's it. So this is looking a lot better than it did this morning. This is pretty close. So I don't know if you can see the little gapping here. So I've got my notes. I've got to like point that out. I'm not sure how though, because that's folded and welded. And if I can, I'd like to pop that out just a little bit. I may have to tack weld that. But this, this is really nice now. I know you guys can't see it. But here, let me. So you can see that is now the same profile. And if you recall, this bumped up and went straight down like it was dropped on its nose at the factory and then boxed up. And they said, eh, who cares? Because good mark. They don't care. Obviously. Well, and just like that it is already time for me to start getting ready to go ice fishing for the first time this season. Um, obviously not driving out, we're, we're walking out. Neighbor Jeff and I are gonna head to Fish Lake today. So this may be the closeout. If this is more than 10 minutes of footage, this will go up today and thanks for watching. If it isn't, well, you won't ever hear me say this. So anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.